good morning. Today I am again late a bit. It's like 11 something and I just got to the spot that I aimed for. But actually it's not a good spot at all. It's a U-turn to connect to the highway there. And I actually got sick yesterday. Uh, I feel really weak. And I thought about like going by bus or by train, but it's not the point because I don't know, like it's not about money or anything, but I just felt that yesterday was just so good with the first couple and then the other guy. People were smiling, waving hands, like showing their thumbs up. That was really nice feeling. I enjoyed yesterday a lot. And hitchhiking like helps me to keep my hope for the society, for the world. I don't know, for the future, for humanity. So I feel like, yeah, this is it. This is what I want. And I really felt like, yeah, I want to do it. It's not about money or anything. It's just fun meeting people all the time, new people and feeling good. So I just enjoy it. And now the weather is quite nice, warm, but I'm really, really feeling bad. Like my throat and my body is like really in bad condition now. I don't feel like hitchhiking to be honest. And it's a long way now, like yesterday I was lucky and I could get to Uvascula with Henry, that guy, the second guy who took me to Olu from Rovaniemi. But he had, he wanted to stop in Olu for some time to see his friends. And I don't know, like he didn't want to have probably the long way, the long road with me all the time. So it felt like, like I should stay here. Also I had talked to my Turkish friend from town. So I felt like, yeah, I want to stay here and talk to him and have maybe this migration stories serious in Turkish about like discussing. We had quite nice chat. Everything was just nice. We had nice food. It went well. I couldn't see auroras. The level, the forecast level was really high. I mean, yesterday and the day before but it didn't come to that level at all both nights so I couldn't see anything but actually I could see some brightness over the horizon but it's just not enough also the days are getting really longer every day here and like when I was in low in over here I feel like the sun is not really going down or anything so They could stop. At least there is some traffic. I was not expecting that much traffic here. But there is some traffic, so wherever I get to some further nicer point, better spot, that would be nice. There is two ways actually now. Like one is to go to Wasa, to southwest, and the other one is to go to southeast to US Kula direction. Both are fine, but I guess Uvascula is much better. But if I get a ride directly to Wasa, I wouldn't reject it because I always wanted to see Wasa. So <sighs> I love hitchhiking. All in all. Yeah, just after I stopped recording, a guy stopped. And I got to kind of the way to Uvascula when there was this um, conjunction, like the roads were going either the southeast or the southwest and he was going directly to O-Line and like straight kind of south and there wasn't like much traffic, he said, because it's a really small town. And yeah, so he helped me, like he gave me a favor and brought me here to a near a gas station and also to this spot so I'm on my way
way to Uraskula. I got like 20, 25 kilometers out of Olu now. So there is 300 kilometers to Uraskula. And let's see if the cars will stop. <laughs> and he was actually asking me about like, why didn't I take the train? And I said to him, it's more fun. And I feel really now like a bit sweaty, wet, and it makes me feel really, really sick. I hope I get to ask that as soon as possible. Yeah. And he was in the army. He has been to Lebanon. He has been like peacekeeping forces in Lebanon for one year and he said like he likes to be in the army or whatever that was a weird like different character different different perspective it would be nice to like have the like journey with him for some longer time Luckily, it was interesting. Yeah, when they see camera, they also look weird. So I kind of close it now. Turn off it now. Let's see.
South America. Oh, because there are sailing boats. That's kind of the last spot. Like yes. in the field there, tank, food, everything. And they sent from Gran Canaria to South America. Wow. So that's like my dream. One day I will do it. from Oulu, kind of like 20 kilometers out of Oulu, I got to like in front of my house, he was going to Rihimaki, which is southern than Tampere, close to Helsinki, and he took me to my place straight ahead, because he could drive in the middle of the country, like from not from Tampere or not from Lahti, there is a route going from middle to Rihimaki Hamenina but he didn't so he took me here that was nice he offered me food he was a rally driver he used to pilot like he had a plane he had a sailing board like he's so rich he's a real estate broker but he's also rich in the heart that's what I love I really appreciated it it was like really long way 500 kilometers but uh, yeah, sometimes I was really tired and silent, but all in all, it was a great experience and the three pants. Yeah. So for next adventures, for my next journey, so other stuff, many, many other stuff coming up about Finland. So please subscribe to my channel. So follow me. Thank you. Bye.